Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today we're in the fish room, obviously. Um, I've been doing a bit of tidying around here and I've kind of created a little space down here. So much like nature abhors a vacuum, so there's a fish keeper. So we've got a little space here I can squeeze another tank into. Kind of trying to build the fish room out with more neat and arranged tanks um, for future plans. But for now, it's just a little space. I just want something that I can get for as a bit of a fry grow out tank because I'm inundated with bristle nose fry as well as guppy fry. Um, so I'm trying to just lighten the load on the bristle nose tank by getting as many of the fry as I can into a little extra tank and use it as a little grow out tank of its own. So, and this is where all the American viewers get to laugh at us UK people. This is what I've gone with. This is a little kiddie tank that we get from a shop around here called Pets at Home. It's a 24 litre aquarium, which is about, I don't know, six or seven gallons, I think it is. Uh, and this is as close as we get to your dollar per gallon sale in the US. Whereas this was on sale at £22.50 for a six gallon tank or seven gallon tank or whatever it is. So this is why all us Europeans and non-US people are super envious of all your dollar per gallon sales but they are great little tanks and um, i use them uh, all up here for all the the guppy tanks that we've got at the moment on the top shelf up there and uh, i've been using them for years they're great little fish room tanks because they're just light they're well put together they're pretty solid they're not the prettiest of things but they do a job and um, they actually come with a filter and a little net all kinds of things but i'm not going to use any of that so what i'm going to do is we get all this out and we give it a bit of a rinse and then we'll start getting it set up. That's it, all washed out. I did actually put sand in it and then I forgot that I didn't actually want sand in it. So a little bit of sand still in there, but we'll clean that out over the water changes. Comes with this little plastic lid type deal. And that's your whack really. As well as that, it comes with a little filter like that, which is just basically a power handle on top of a bit of sponge which is actually fine, they're perfectly reasonable and I do use them, you can see one in this tank here I use them as kind of wave maker alternatives just to get the water movement going but in this one I'm just going to take a sponge filter from this tank that's next to it put that in there once we get it filled up uh, and like I say I want it to be a grow out tank so I'm going to just keep it as bare as possible we'll probably put in a few caves and a few hiding places and some wood um, but other than that, that should do it so while that is noisily filling up, this is the tank that I'm wanting to take some of the babies out of. I don't know if many of you can see there, but there's about a bajillion little baby bristlenose fry. We've got the albinos and commons in there. So if you are interested in buying any of these, these should be coming on the website in the next couple of months. They'll be big enough to start shipping out, well probably weeks actually. Um, yeah, there's just tons in there, so I'm just trying to thin out the herd a little bit and give them a bit of a grow out space. Because um, this is actually quite full, this tank of adults as well. So I want to give them as much space to get on with and cause fewer conflicts. And because there's a ton of adults in there, they actually make it really messy uh, really often. So I can't get in there and do as much siphoning as I would like to because I'm scared of siphoning up all the little babies. As for the rest of the tanks in here, We've got up here, we've got the killifish still. It's suicidal killifish. So that's the male you can see down there. With the terrible reflections. Let's see if we can sort that out. Uh, the female keeps jumping. And I mean, keeps jumping. It's like three or four times now. I've caught the female. In fact, I can't see her straight away. It makes me worried that she's done it again. But I've had to get this kind of makeshift lid here to stop her doing it. But yeah, I keep finding her in different tanks having jumped. Oh, no, there she is. Still alive. But yes, three or four times now I've caught that one jumping. Even the last time I had this makeshift lift on, uh, lid on, which is pretty snug. So I don't know how she's managing it. Yes, they're doing okay, um, if a bit suicidal. And then in these tanks up here, we've just got the guppies. So I've got red, blues and yellows. And if you can get in a bit closer without frightening them all away, there's a ton of fry in each of them. Been really, really, really 
prolific breeders, these ones, uh, and doing really well. And blues, a ton of fry in there as well. And the same with the yellows. So yeah, really happy how well they've done. I've actually just expanded the, the guppy tanks to this one as well. Because again, there's another ton of fry. So these are the, the first batch of fry, the smaller ones you can see in there. They're just starting to get the colors. Well, it started quite a while back actually. And um, these are what I would be calling fry. So if you do go on my website and are interested in buying guppies, it'd be these would be the ones that I'd classify as fry. Not the adults obviously, but the, the smaller ones. That's the kind of size I'm happy sending them as. Anyway, that's the fry on Snail Island here, we've just got the little snail tanks again. What I really want to do is replace all of these tanks with a kind of low boy tank, something like that. Maybe do shell dwellers or something like that. Uh, and then we've got some of these new foods that I've been trying out, which we'll need to talk about in a little while. Actually, this is probably a good time for a segue. It may have escaped your attention, but I'm very close to hitting my 10,000 subscriber goal on YouTube. I'm about 500 and change away at the moment of recording. Um, so I thought that'd be a great time to do some kind of giveaway, a contest to celebrate with everyone and give something back. It's a way of saying thank you to everyone for subscribing and following the journey so far. So to that end, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a box like this. I'm going to fill it up with a bunch of goodies and every week for the next few weeks until I get to that 10,000 subscribers we'll add some new things in here so it's in your interest to subscribe and follow along and make sure you know what you're going to be getting uh, and add new things in here and then when you get to the 10,000 we'll do a bit of a draw and we will send it all to you. So quick bit of admin, if you're going to enter the competition that kind of implies you accept that it's being run within the platform's terms of service and community guidelines um, so if you break any of those then you won't be eligible. Essentially this is going to be run across all my social media accounts, so YouTube, Facebook or Instagram. Enter as many times as you want to get more chances to win. And um, What we're going to do is we're going to get a hashtag up here, comment on all my videos, hashtag AA10K. Uh, leave that comment in the video or on the Instagram post or on any of my Facebook page posts and I will collect them all at the end and we'll do a random draw and pick one of those and send that person all the stuff. So for the first thing to go in here, you saw my JBL video a couple of videos back where I got a bunch of things from JBL for the pro aquascaping things. So we have this, this is the JBL S16 Spring. These are like some scissors for aquascaping scissors. Very cool stuff here. We've got the JBL tongs, the P30 straight tongs. That'll go in there. We've got the plant starter kit. These are some um, it's like dechlorinated for plants type thing. That'll go in there. We've got the JBL clips. These are to hold your hoses on your bucket so the hoses don't go flying everywhere. Very useful. And we've got the JBL Pro Scape Cleaning Glove. So that'll go in there. Keep checking back on future videos and we'll add more and more in here. And every time that you add that hashtag AA10K, that'll be another entry into the video. So the minimum requirements are you click that subscribe button. I would appreciate it if you share the video far and wide wherever you can. We get some more people in here, generate some more interest. As we get new videos each week, I'll be adding in more things to the, the prize fund. So you'll see what grows and grows and grows, hopefully. Open to anyone in the world. Um, I take no responsibility if things get lost in the mail, but I will do tracking and all that to make sure that I'm all above board and we're not scamming anyone. But follow me on Instagram, comment on any of my Instagram posts after this date. Follow me on Facebook, comment on any of my Facebook posts. I'll be doing this, releasing this part of this video on all those platforms so you can find out how you can enter. And like I say, enter as many times as you want and hopefully someone will get a nice big prize at the end of it. But remember this is just the start, there's going to be more things added to this prize fund as the weeks go on and if there's any companies out there that want to sponsor some of this and send me some stuff and some goodies to put in the prize bag please get in touch as well. So click that subscribe button, make sure you follow along and um, I appreciate anyone that wants to join the channel with the channel membership but that's not going to give you any more of a bonus or any more likelihood of winning um, but subscribe See all the videos as they come out, I'll make an announcement or a short section in each of the videos to let you know what we're adding to the prize bag uh, and then you can follow along on my other social medias to see what the full whole prize is going to be. 
and then we've got the guppies that are showing you in the pea puffers and then the discus who are looking very fine if I do say so myself. I do keep catching them picking away at this cone but they haven't actually done anything as of yet but we've only been in here a few days or maybe a week something like that and they're starting to get a little bit more confident though and they're not shying away as soon as they come in and they're taking food readily but look how handsome they are loving these guys and then we've got another kind of misfit tank down here which is another one where I probably want to get rid of these this tank and replace it with a lot smaller tanks like kind of four or five tanks of the same size there and um, because it's it's just got bristle nose in it as well and a few other things and some cherry shrimp and this that and the other and then over here we've got the angels who I've obviously scared and they're not coming out to play. There's one hiding there. Another one at the back. Um, these guys liking more and more. Um, they seem to be getting deeper colours, which I'm finding very nice. Um, I don't know whether or not they're starting to get to kind of breeding size as well, because I have seen a few picking away at each other and having a little bit of a go at one another. So there's obviously something going on in there. But yeah, that's that's all that we've got going on down here at the moment. While this tank fills up. So that's that tank full up now. Um, I'm just going to leave it a while to get up to temperature. Um, probably leave it overnight. That should do the trick quite well. Probably not use a heater in this one because actually I've got these little um, thermometers. The ambient temperature in here is 24 and a half degrees, so that's kind of fine. That's where I want it to be, so probably don't even need a heater for that tank. We should be good to go. I'll put in a bit of wood, a bit of ornaments, and then I'll swap over a filter. So one of these air sponge filters from here. Job done, and on to the next one. So just a bit of an update on what's going on in the fish room, getting this little tank set up. Um, make sure you click that subscribe button, you can go back and see once I try and move all these fish over. I suspect that will be a Herculean task in and of itself. Um, but hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you click all the links in the description. You can find out more about the competition. You can enter on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram. Uh, there will be posts on all the platforms and you enter as many times as you want. You'll get a bigger chance to uh, win. And if you want to donate to the prize fund, if you're a company out there and want to send some stuff to stick into the prize fund, get in touch. But that'll do for now. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.